Gary, played by Mikey North, was the Coronation Street character who killed Rick, Greg Wood, back in 2019 as their rivalry came to a deadly end. Ever since, Kelly Nealon, Millie Gibson, has been searching for answers over what happened to her father and in upcoming scenes on the ITV soap, Laura, Kel Allen, will begin to become inquisitive about the lone shark's disappearance. However, needing to secure his own freedom and knowing Laura is dying of stomach cancer, Gary would turn the tables in one of the cruelest twists to ever unfold on the cobbles. After moving in with the Windass and her daughter in scenes airing later this week, Laurel begins to talk to Gary about Rick. Knowing her daughter will be an orphan, she wants Rick to cough up the money he owes in child support so Kelly can have it all. By the time next week's installments start broadcasting, the ailing character has made contact with a private investigator. But with her pain getting worse, she is finding it harder to do everyday tasks and she seeks some advice from Gary. Although he feels guilty for what he is putting her through, he tells her to cancel her meeting with the private investigator and see a doctor instead. Laura knows it is in her best interest to seek medical help and so it seems Gary might have managed to keep his secret harbored. However, as he contemplates how he is going to keep it from becoming public knowledge in the future, he could come up with a plan. Playing on Laura's illness, he could begin spending more time with her, talking to her about her life with Rick. Gary could make his house guest think back to the bad times she and Rick had, which ultimately led to them splitting up. With this anger inside her and with the heavy dose of medication she is on to ease her pain, Gary could begin to construe an idea in her mind. He could make Laura believe she was the one who killed Rick and got rid of his body as she had finally had enough of the way he was treating her. Gary would explain although Laura didn't mean to do it, she knew it was the right thing to do and in order to hide her guilt. She pretended she didn't know a thing. As it had gone on for so long, she started to believe the story she had told herself and forgot she was a murderer. Not realizing she is being coerced, Laura could confess she did it to Gary, not realizing he had pressed record on his phone the minute he stopped talking. With an admission on tape, he could go to the authorities and hand it over to them explaining the woman only has weeks left to live. Dot with medical professionals confirming the prognosis, the police could close the case but still put Laura down as Rick's killer. This way, Gary would get away with murder and manage to ensure Kelly finds some closure over what happened to her father. Whether or not she could forgive her mother for what she didn't actually do would be another story completely. The actress who plays Laura, Kel, has spoken out about her character's latest storyline and her quest to know what happened to Rick. Kel explained, she wants to find out what's gone on. And all I can say is Terry's gonna be absolute fireworks. I've read some of the scenes, and it is mental. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in EastEnders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003? Question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale? When did the show stop being known as Immerdale Farm? On what day did Hollyoaks air its first episode? What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Hollyoaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? 
who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street, who shot Phil in EastEnders. How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air the ups and downs, and what's gonna come to fruition is epic. This is the reason I wanted to come back, the actress said. So, most definitely it's going to be sitting on the edge of your seat moment. That's all I'm gonna say. It's an absolute belter. Asked if she always knew she was going to come back, the soap star said, Yeah, we always knew. They were always keen to keep bringing me in. And so it was never closing the door fully on Laura. I knew something was coming. And when they pitched this storyline to me, I was like, oh, my days, this is just too good to turn down, I can't not. Oh, it's a good one, it's a corker, Kel teased so could this be her character will be tricked into confessing she killed Rick? Taking to Twitter, viewers have been sharing their thoughts on the latest twist to the storyline, with Ryan writing. Gary's going to start feeling the pressure when Laura starts talking about trick again hashtag Corey. Owen posted, Laura sorry for abandoning Kelly, is Gary going to pipe up and say he is sorry for killing Rick? No, thought not hashtag Corey. Doreen added, Laura is dying, is Gary going to be nice and show her where the family burial plot is in the woods? Hashtag Corey.